Hi, so today we have a bit of bad news. This entire video is filmed in black and white. I'm not too sure why I said that. Okay, so uh, we have these guys. Um, they have been chilling in these containers for quite some time now. I need to change one of the containers that one of these spiders are in because there is a bit of mold that has formed and mold can form in these because of the humidity and temperature that they remain at. So that's gonna be fun. And I'm just gonna take these out now. Uh, two of these spiders have molted. One of them I Instagrammed quite some time ago. And then the other one I Instagrammed a few days ago. And here we have the guys just chilling and well, they're not chilling exactly. What is the temperature? In this room right now is about 27 degrees C, which is quite warm. Um, I've got a couple of windows open throughout the house for airflow, etc. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is, what I'll do is, what I'll do now is, what I'll do now is I'll show you what these look like from the top down. And uh, this one is the one that needs its substrate changing. This one has malted. This one previously malted um, about a month ago. This one did it about a week ago. I've taken pictures of both of these. They're on my Instagram. So if you're on there, you probably would have seen this one recently. Uh, this one is yet to malt. Um, so yeah, this one needs its substrate changing. This one needs its malt taken out. And this one is gonna remain as it is. So now I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so first up we have this guy. This is the blue, blue, blue. This is the Brazilian red and white. And there he is just watching a bit of TV. Obviously he's not red and white yet because he's still small. And I don't know if there's a he, I'm just saying he. Also what we have in there is a mealworm that has been webbed and then consumed. So I'm gonna take that out. And um, that should be about it for this one. So hopefully he doesn't run out and and out comes that thing into this container here. So there we go, that's that guy sorted. And I'm gonna put this lid back on and it's over to the next one. Okay, so this one right here is the Brazilian blue that has recently malted. And in the picture that I took for it, you could really tell the color. I'm not too sure you can see it on video, especially because he's hiding in his hole. So uh, what you can see though is a mealworm that has been eaten and turn black. Inside that hole there is where the dude is chilling on his sofa and you can barely see him. So uh, that's no good for the video. What I will do though is take that mealworm out because he's seen better days. Out oh, that comes along with the malt. Can you see that? No, you can't because it's out of focus. That there, that there is the malt. Also, this guy tends to run around quite quick when he's up and about, so I'm glad he's not up and about. Um, what I will do, though, is I'll show you what the picture looks like right now. So, as you can tell, he has a nice blue colour, and before he actually malted, he looked like the previous spider you just saw. And now we have this guy, which is the Chaco Golden Knees. And his butt is sticking out of that hole right there. And there he is. What I need to do is I need to get him out of this, stick him in the empty container, change the substrate on this, and then put him back in it. Okay, so we've got a little lid here and I've just focused the camera on the blue tack. Hopefully that should be close enough. So there you can see Spidey in the top. I'm just gonna pull on this stuff and see what he does. Oh, he's wondering what's going on. Try to coax him out and turn around, mate. And there he is. So I'll just sort of tap him and he'll probably run and go straight over the desk. What I could have done is maybe just fill this up with substrate. There he is. So what I'll do is I'll just pop this over the top of him. And there we go, he can stay there. Okay, so whilst I was recording the previous clips, my microphone wasn't attached. Anyway, what we have here is drugs close, the substrate that I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna chip some of this off like this. And then make a bit of a mess on my desk, which is always a nice thing to do. Araikaso. Just a little bit more. That might even do it actually. Okay, so I'll put that to one side and now we'll just put this together. Now I'm just gonna crumble this stuff into here and that should be about it. Okay, so that doesn't seem like much, but what I'll do now is I'll add some water to it and we'll see how much it expands by. So in goes the water. Okay, I think we need a tiny bit more. Okay, 
Okay, so I've added a bit more to it, and now what I'll do is I'll add some more water. Okay, so I think that should be good enough. Uh, now what I'll do is I'll make a little tunnel and then put the spider back in. So I'm gonna use this thing to make the tunnel with, and I'll probably take it to around there. First, I'm just gonna sort of like pack it down a little bit. And now I'll stick the tweezers in here and... And there we go, that should be good enough. And now he can Netflix and chill or whatever he wants. Totally just missed that call on my phone, which is good because I didn't even know the number. What I'm gonna do now is transfer Spidey into this. It should be fairly straightforward. Hopefully, just need to get him to um, make a bit of a U-turn. So uh, what I'll do is I'll use this. This thing is called a pipette. And there he goes into his new home or her new home. Okay, so that should be good enough. And I'll just slowly start tipping it forwards. Slide him along. Okay, so that should be about it, I think. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way with, what I'm gonna do next is give them some food. And because we have new subscribers coming here all the time, I'll show you the food that I'm gonna give them. As you can see, these are mealworms, and these are supposed to be small, mini mealworms, but because I've had them for quite some time, they've also gotten bigger. Also, I've been feeding them because they do need food, and the food that I've been giving them is just a few slices of fruit every now and then. So there we go, that's these guys, and uh, that one looks a little weird. I've not seen one look like that before. Maybe it's turning into something else. Maybe, I don't know, a uh, beetle or something? But yeah, that's these guys. Their numbers have gone down quite a lot. Maybe they've been eating each other. I'm not really too sure what they do, but if I dig around in here, I'll be able to find some small enough for these spiders. Also, I've had these about the same amount of time as I've had these spiders. I could get some flightless fruit flies for them, but these seem to be doing the job. Also, they seem to fatten up the spiders a lot quicker than, you know, most other prey. So yeah, anyway. Okay, so first what I'll do is I'll take some of these out and then put them onto the lid. So here's one. That is about the right sort of size for two of the spiders. Might be a little smaller than I'd like, but it will do. And then we need another one that's about that sort of size. It won't hurt if it's slightly bigger because the one I'm gonna give it to has molted. Okay, well, I found this one, but that's that seems a little bit too small. So I'm gonna keep looking. Ah, nope, it's got away. Ah, okay, well, we've got this one. I think I'll keep these two, put this one back. And now we need another one that's a bit bigger. So maybe, all right, so I think this one will do. But we have three different sizes, so I'll put them in focus, that will help. All right, so there we go, we've got these guys. I might just put this lid back on top of this pack. All right, so there we go then. Um, now, one by one, I'm gonna feed these to the spiders. Okay, so Spidey number one is gonna get this guy. And I'll just leave that there, so at some point or other, Spidey's gonna come out, see that, and then hopefully start um, eating. And inside here, we have the Brazilian blue, so that's gonna get this guy. And right here, we have the Brazilian red and white, which will get the smallest worm. Well, that's the update for the spiders. I know there's not been much action, but I think that is because they're still small. When they get a bit bigger, I think um, we'll be in for a little more. I know one of them is definitely a lot more active than the others. That is the Brazilian blue, the one that has been in the hole. Which one is it? Uh, the one in the middle. So this guy in the middle here is the one that is gonna be quite active. This one you can see is in his little tunnel. This one is the one that has recently molted. So I think after they molt, they sort of go and hide and because they're still soft on the outside, um, they've got to sort of stay hidden for a bit until their shells or, you know, the exoskeleton hardens up a little bit. Um, this guy is yet to molt. There he is on the outside. He will do the same thing. Um, I don't think he's as active as this one is. But yeah, that's um, been a quick update. Uh, these mealworms, I'm sure at some point or other they'll be eaten. 
probably during the night, not too sure. But uh, we will return to these in a few weeks and see what's new. Any further updates, any pictures I post will go onto Instagram. Say, for example, when this one molts, I'll post a picture up there. So if you want to follow, then you have the option to. As for now, though, I think that is the end of the video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.